welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you are here. Thank you so, so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. I hope you are having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn and I'm coming at you with my second Walgreens haul. You knew you were going to see another one from me this week because Walgreens has some great deals as they always do every single week. Some weeks they just might not be deals that you want to pick up or I want to pick up, but they always got the deals going on and it just would not feel right to go a week without doing a spend deal and using points on a spend deal and still earning the points back. So you know I got that for you. Oh my gosh. If you are new and you just found the channel, I'm so, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello and let me know that you're new right down there so that I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to get another video. I appreciate you. How are you doing today? I know there are some hurricanes going on. Oh my gosh, if you are in that path, I am so praying for you. Please stay safe. It is a gorgeous sunny day here in Michigan. It is hot. I'm getting ready to take the girls to the park. And last time I did that, I wore my hair down, which was a mistake because I was sweating like crazy. So I put it up today. So we're going to go play at the park with some friends for a couple hours. I'm so excited. Even though, you know, I don't think anybody's on lockdown. Um, you know, we just haven't been interacting a whole lot with their friends. So I'm excited that they are going to get to play with some friends today. I'm blocking the big guy. There he is for any of y'all that like to see Gus. I got to feed him before uh, we head to the park so that he has his lunch and then can continue on with his daily, <laughs> his daily ritual <laughs> of napping. <laughs> He's an old boy. He's an old boy, so I let him nap as much as he wants to. But then when he wants to play, he plays like a dang puppy. I love it. All right, so if you want to learn how to, or if you kind of think you know, but you need a little refresher, how to get a much lower out of pocket by using points on a spend deal, even though everybody tells you you can't do it, I'm here to tell you you can, and I do it every single week at Walgreens. And I always get my points back. There will be a link in the description box explaining exactly how to use points on a spend deal and what spend deals are excluded. So super important. Watch that video if you are unsure of how to do that. We are doing the makeup bag giveaway today. OMG. I know this is a Walgreens video, but I promised you that I would do the drawing on Thursday for the CVS makeup bag Ah, so many of y'all have shared with me that you went and got your makeup bag doing it the way I showed you because Sarah shared it with me. So dang excited that we now know how to do the makeup bag even better. So here she is. Here she is in all her glory and beautifulness. The peach makeup bag that still has the tag on it. I'm a little blown away at how many y'all entered. <laughs> it may have been more. It may have been more than enter into my actual cash gift card giveaways. I was like, holy crap, these people really want the dang makeup bag. I wish I had more. I wish I had 10 of them so I could give away more. Oh my gosh. When I saw how many of you entered, I was like, okay, all right. So let's announce the winner. All you had to do to enter into the drawing was to comment makeup bag. That's all you had to do. And a ton of you commented, oh my gosh. So one lucky winner, you have until Saturday. I'm only giving you two days to claim it just because so many people entered. So I wanna make sure to get this out. So if the winner doesn't claim it, I will redraw because I'm getting this baby out because a lot of you want it. <laughs> and I want it to go to a good home. So the winner, I'm going to pop her comment up on the screen. Congratulations to Claire Gala. I hope I'm saying your last name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. But Claire, you are the winner. I will pop my email up on the screen for you. It will also be in the description box. Send me an email with your mailing address and I will get the makeup bag out to you. All right, I got some great stuff at Walgreens. Of course, I had 
pretty low out of pockets as I like. That's how I like to coupon personally. So I'm excited to go over these transactions with you. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate that and it truly helps the channel out so, so much. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider subscribing and being part of this awesome community. All right, let's get into these deals. All right, here we go with the Walgreens haul, second haul, super duper excited. Look what I found, they restocked the Scott. I am so, so happy that I found it. So I did three transactions over the last couple of days. Of course, we will focus most on the King C deal, which is a spend deal. It is on promotion for spend $20 and earn 10,000 points. So basically it's like 50% off, which is an amazing deal. And we do have some digital coupons. So I did get well over $20 here because I was working with my spend booster of save $5 when you spend 20. And that um, comes off and does not count towards your spend amount. So I wasn't exactly sure what percentage would come off of each product, but I've figured that out. So I know for future spend deals. So I actually didn't need to buy the third product. However, I wanted to play it safe um, because there is nothing worse than when you're working with a dollar threshold booster and you don't get your points because you spent under the requirement and you didn't realize it. So in my first transaction, I picked up the Dixie Bowls, the Dixie Plates. I had no coupons for those. And I picked up a Scott paper towel. Um, I had two register rewards that were expiring on the day that I did this transaction and I wanted to use them up. And like, I just love stocking up on this deal when it comes around because we go through them so fast. So I always try to stock up. So they're buy one, get one free. So there they are, the Dixie plates and the Dixie bowls. And then my Scott paper towel had the cashier scan, the $1.25 store IVC coupon. My $1 off of Scott's did come off, thank goodness. You know, I've been telling you when I'm using register rewards, I have the product that I have a digital coupon for scanned very last. I type my number in on the pin pad and I wait for it to say digital coupons received. For the most part, it has been working for me. So my digital coupon came off and then my $3 register reward and my $4 register reward. My subtotal was 373. I did use $4 in points, didn't earn anything back on that transaction as it was just the paper products that I wanted to stock up on. Then I needed to get some dang packing tape because I couldn't find mine, which of course, as soon as I bought that, I found it. <laughs> but while I was at the store, I thought, let me make a deal if they have some products. And they had some products. They were stocked up on toilet paper and paper towel. I only had um, the toilet paper coupon on this account that I was using. So what I did was I grabbed the packing tape. I grabbed the Dixie cups because I wanted that for my Ibotta rebate. I grabbed the toilet paper pack and two of the Max Fresh. Now remember, we have the Colgate deal going on where it is buy two, earn 3,000 points, but we have two separate coupons. So you cannot mix and match. You can't get one Colgate Max Fresh and one Colgate total. The coupons are not gonna come off. So just be careful of that if you haven't done this deal yet this week. So there is my buy one, get one free Dixie Cups. My Colgate Max Fresh, two of them at $2.99 each. My Scott paper, or my Scott toilet paper. And my, oh my gosh, did I forget to have her scan the dang book? Oh. I totally forgot to have her scan the dang book. I'm gonna have to take my receipt in and get a credit now. I just noticed that. You know what? I must have totally done my math wrong because if I would have had her scan the book, 
I wonder, no, I would have been right. Yeah, I just totally had her, I totally forgot to have her scan the book. Dang it. And then there's my packing tape. So what happened in this one was she had to, I was using a $3 register award that was expiring. And um, this store, as you can see, their printer is funky and it also prints the register rewards funky and the register rewards that I was using came off of this and their scanner just never scans them. So she had to manually enter both my Dixie coupon, which I got another one, and my register reward. So my $3 off of Colgate Max Fresh came off and my dollar off the Scott came off. And then she manually entered my $3 register reward and my 75 cent off coupon. And when it printed, I said, oh good, I have another coupon that's not gonna scan. <laughs> and she just laughed, but I'm excited I got another Dixie coupon. And these are good, I'm trying to read like the end of September. I can't read that, maybe you can see that on the screen. Yeah, 9.23. So my subtotal was $10 and dang 71 cents because I forgot to have her scan the dang IVC book. It's totally fine. I'm just going to take my receipt in and they will give me a store credit. Um, so I did use $10 in points and paid a subtotal of 71 cents on this. For this, I did earn back 3,000 points. So that was awesome. And I got to grab my toilet paper and then $2 back from Ibotta, $1 for each one of the Dixie Cups, even though one is free, it does count as a rebate. All right, let's move on to the, um, I'm just looking at my receipts. Did I pull out an extra? I think I pulled out an extra, um, I shouldn't have that paper towel in here. <laughs> I did this over a couple of days. So I was just pulling stuff out of my car. I must not have pulled that out of my car from I don't know when. All right, so let's move on. I did the spend deal, which is spend 20, earn 10,000 points. I still had my $5 when you spend $20 coupon on this account. So this is the transaction that I decided to do. I picked up three of the King C products, two of the Colgate Max Fresh. This is a different account because once you use a digital, it is gone. And then I picked up the Aveeno Facial Cleanser. Now something very weird did happen. This has never happened to me before. I had a super high value digital coupon that I had clipped a couple of weeks ago for Icy Hot. And it was $8 off of two. Every single one of my accounts got it. It's gone and it did not expire. When I was in the store, I had checked it the night before. When I was in the store, I scanned the products and that coupon is gone off of every single account. I've had that happen if I don't clip them. I've never had that happen once I have clipped them. If they, It wasn't expiring until I think the end of September. So let me know if that has ever happened to you. Another weird thing happened in this transaction. Um, so I had to change my transaction around and I opted for the Aveeno Facial Cleanser because the girls do like this cleanser and I had a high value digital to replace the one that I lost, OMG. So for the King C products, these three totaled me $30.97. Again, I'm way over the $20 mark but my $5 off 20 was going to come off and it would take a percentage off of each product. And if I would have only bought these two right here, which would have totaled me $22.98, I wasn't certain the amount that was going to come off each product. I am now, I figured it out, but I needed to test this to figure out for future deals when we have those um, dollar off threshold coupons, how much comes off of each product. It really wasn't that difficult to figure out. I could have figured it out before, but anyways. So I spent $30.97. I bought two of the Colgate Max Fresh, which were $2.99 each, and the Aveeno Cleanser was $8.49. So this transaction right here totaled me $45.44. I knew I wanted to use $20 in points, and since I have to spend $20, to earn the 10,000 in King C, 
I needed to get my total up to $40 at least. But because my $5 off of $20 purchase was also coming off, I needed to get my total up to $45 at least. So I hope you are still with me on that. So $45.44 was my total for this transaction. So there is the Colgate. There is the Aveeno. And then the King C. The Beard Wash was $12.99. The Shave Gel was $7.99. And the Razor was $9.99. So my five off of 20 purchase came off. My $6 digital coupon that I have for one Aveeno, isn't that a nice coupon, came off. My $4 off of the Beard Wash came off. My $3 off of the two Colgate Max Fresh came off. My $3 off of the Razor Coupon came off. And my $2 off of the um, Beard Gel came off. So my subtotal was $22.44. This is a little bit higher of a subtotal than I normally have. But because I had to switch things around in the store because of that Icy Hot coupon like totally disappearing on me and that was like an $8 value. Um, and I was going to use my Walgreens gift card that I had earned from purchasing the gift card deal a couple weeks back. So I was totally fine with that. So $22.44, I did use $20 in points. So I used points on a spend deal and I earned back 13,000 points. I earned back 10,000 for spending 20 on King C and 3,000 for purchasing two Colgate. Here's the weird thing that happened on this receipt. Nowhere on here do you see beauty purchase. For whatever reason, it did not track my Aveeno towards my beauty dollars. And I still can't figure out why. I have chatted with two customer service reps who were absolutely not helpful. And Walgreens customer service is fantastic. Neither one of these reps knew what in the world was happening. I don't even know if they understood what I was asking. The first rep, I think, finally did understand what I was asking. And basically, she told me because I used points, that's why I didn't get any credit towards beauty, which we know is wrong because all of these coupons count in the system as cash. And so my full 849, or actually, it should have been um, 756 because of that store coupon of five off 20. 756 should have tracked towards beauty, and it didn't. So she told me it was because I used points. Then she also told me that oral care was included in beauty. And I was like, oh, heavens, this rep does not know. I, and I just told her, I said, no, oral care does not count towards beauty. <laughs> so I ended the chat, started a new chat. That person said, well, you earned 13,200 points on this transaction. What are you missing? I said, I'm not missing any coupons or any points. What I'm missing is... My Aveeno skincare did not track towards beauty. And what this rep did was copy and pasted the what is included in beauty from the website and sent it in the chat. And I was getting a little annoyed by this point. And I said, uh, are you able to help me? And she said, skincare is not included in beauty. <laughs> I said, uh, you just copy and pasted what is included from beauty in this message. Let me repeat it back to you what is included. Cosmetics, hair care, skin care. I said, yes, skin care is included. And I said, are you able to help me? I'm trying to understand why this purchase is not tracking towards my beauty spend. It literally was the longest conversation that I have ever had on live web chat. Usually they are so fantastic. Then she said, um, what I can do as a one-time courtesy is award you 800 points. I didn't want the points. I, I wasn't supposed to earn 800 points in this transaction. I wanted the answer of why my purchase that is clearly part of beauty was not tracking towards beauty. So let me know if this has ever happened to you. All right, so. 
We know that coupons count in the system as cash. It doesn't matter that it was a Colgate coupon. It doesn't matter that it was an Aveeno coupon. All of these coupons count towards cash. So I had 10, 16, $18 in coupons, which is $18 according to the system that I spent towards my 20. And then I spent $2.44 because the gift card does count towards cash. If it's a store credit from doing a return, that does not count, okay? So no cash came out of my pocket, which is fantastic. I used $20 in points and I earned back 13,000. So yep, I did take a loss of points, but let's look at this just a little bit different way. For any of y'all that are trying to get your out of pocket lower, if I was to purchase just these two, which a lot of people would do, these would total me $22 and 98 cents. And people would purchase this and they would use the digital coupons, which is the $4 off the wash and the $3 off of the razor. And they would pay $15.98 cash out of pocket to earn back 10,000 points. Now in this circumstance here, you could not use a five off 20 and still earn your points back because 22.98 minus five, you would be under your $20 spend requirement. So I'm not even gonna talk about this with a, with a threshold booster, okay? So I would pay 15.98 cash out of pocket to earn back 10,000. But by me building my transaction up to $45 and using my coupons, to cover my spend requirement, even if you didn't have the gift card like I do, and you had to pay $2.44 cash out of pocket, I don't know, doesn't that feel better than paying $15.98 cash out of pocket, even if you're earning back 10,000 points? That's the way I personally like to coupon. Like technically, if I'm gonna pay $10 cash, it's coming out of my bank account, but I earn 10,000 points back, is that a freebie? Yeah, technically, but it doesn't feel like a freebie to me because $10 came out of my bank account. <laughs> so using points on a spend deal, I, like, I could never, ever go back to the, the way I did it when I was brand new couponing at Walgreens. And every video I listened to told me that I couldn't use points on a spend deal and still get my points back. So forever grateful that I found Michelle's channel that taught me that was totally incorrect. And now this is how I do it every single week. Now for any of y'all that have the math brain like me, I figured this out. And basically when you are working with a spend threshold, a dollar amount threshold, so I was working with my five off of 20, take your total, my total was $45.44. I'm gonna have a $5 coupon come off. How much is gonna come off of each product? That's what I need to know. For $5 divided by 45.44 is 11%, and that's exactly what came off. 11% came off each one of these products. So I could have added a different product in other than this and probably used a higher value digital or paper coupon than the $2, like, cause this was $7.99. I probably could have got the Fructis for $7 and used a $4 coupon instead of a $2 coupon, but I was just unsure. So if you look at your receipt, this will tell you right here. So the beard wash was $12.99. The return value is $11.56 because $1.43 of my $5 came off of the beard wash. So again, I didn't have to spend quite this much. It would have actually brought me down to $20.45 had I added a different product into this. So whatever your total is gonna be, if it's $30, do five divided by 30, that's 16.6%. .6%. So you would have to take 16.6% off of each product. For any of y'all that hate math, I know I probably lost you. But if you love math, 
This is an easy way, I can't believe I didn't know it before, of how to figure out so that you're at your spend requirements when you are using those dollar off coupons. Okay, that's what I got for you. Let me know if you are in love with using points on a spend deal. It is such a game changer. So, so excited that I do this every single week and still earn my points back. And again, yeah, I, I used 20,000 in points and I earned back 13. I'm okay with that because my bank account wasn't affected. You can go ahead and do the deal and pay $15 out of your bank account to earn back 10. So you would only be losing 598 where I lost 7,000 points, but it's Walgreens money. It's fake money. I can't use it anywhere else. And like, uh, I know how to earn points. I still have 260,000 points. <laughs> so I'm okay with a little bit of a loss when it's something that I wanna buy or you know something like that. So, all right, that's what I got for you. As always, if you get some value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I so appreciate you and I'm gonna see you again soon. Bye.